I want it all, wealth, women, and one more thing, I want a uniform. <laughs> Tuesday. Welcome to another episode of For Me, It Was Tuesday. I am your host, GQ. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Like the video, leave some comments on this video and the other ones I've done. Also check out culturejunkies.net. Don't forget to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're also on Twitch and Discord, so we are pretty much everywhere. Today, we're going to be looking at a classic film well, classic in the sense that it's about 13 years old, but it's still really, really good. We're going to be looking at Zack Snyder's 300. Of course, directed by Zack Snyder, starring Gerard Butler, Lena Headey, Dominic West, Rodrigo Santoro, and Michael Fassbender. Now, 300 is one of those films that just kind of holds a special place in my heart. Some of you may know that it was originally a graphic novel by Frank Miller, legendary uh, comic artist who, of course, is responsible for The Dark Knight Returns and, of course, Sin City. But 300, for some reason, is, was one of those films that kind of, for me, put Zack Snyder on the map for me, personally, as far as my interest in his work and that sort of thing. And it was just kind of like, the movie was just, it just worked. It was pure, like, macho aggression and all that other sort of stuff just rolled into one really cool film. The aesthetic of the film, the kind of almost sepia tone, chroma, chroma, chromatic look that they gave to the film to kind of match the look of the graphic novel, the over-the-top violence, the really judicious and really um, artistic use of slow motion in the film and just the I think this film was kind of one of those that kick-started the actors need to get in shape to play various roles now granted some of the uh, actors uh, went of the airbrush route for their uh, their physique and their look but I think all of the principal actors were actually put through a, a p90x uh, regimen to get themselves in shape for the film and to, you know kind of get that that Spartan look that they had and all in all the film was was an amazing amazing piece of work um, for those that don't know it has obviously some roots in history uh, there have been a couple of History Channel documentaries about it and um, technically the film is kind of a remake because there was a a, an older film, uh, I believe it was just called 300 Spartans, and it was obviously an older film retelling of, of the, the historical account of what happened uh, during the Battle of Thermopylae. And it's also just really cool to see just the pacing of the film. I mean, obviously they start the film off from Leonidas's birth, you know, Gerard Butler's character, and it's literally right off the bat. It's like, look, when he was born, like all Spartans, he was inspected. And had he been scrawny or deformed or misshapen, he would have been discarded. I believe that's not exactly 100% accurate to to uh, how Spartans were raised and or you know when they were born and all that other sort of thing. But it gives you a a real instant jolt of this is a harsh world that he is he is born into and isn't going to have to deal with. And I love how they foreshadow his battle strategy when he is uh, sent on the Agogi, which is kind of like their rite of passage for the young boys or the young men in Sparta, in Sparta. And he fights against a, you know, essentially a giant black wolf. And he leads the wolf into a narrow passage where the wolf can't fit, gets the wolf trapped in the passage, kills it, skins it, <laughs> comes back to Sparta, you know, and, and is crowned king. So I, I, I really enjoyed like some of the foreshadowing and, and just the, like the film is a beautiful film. This is where Zack Snyder gets his reputation as being a very visual cinematographer, a very, um, like some of his, his scenes are like perfect posters, like the way they're shot. I think this is the film that put him on the map for that. And of course he got Watchmen, I believe uh, shortly after this film. And 
again, love him or hate him, Zack Snyder, when he's on his game, he's on his game. And 300 is definitely one of those, and he's on his game. Uh, we get a very um, eager and very, uh, very cool Michael Fassbender in this film. Didn't even realize it was Michael Fassbender until my second viewing, because at the time I didn't know, you know, anything about the actor. Then of course, a couple years later, he's cast as Magneto to be in uh, X-Men First Class, and he did an outstanding job in that role. So a lot of uh, interesting, you know, early roles essentially for some up and comers basically, or some people that went on to, to do great things in Hollywood and, and uh, so very, very awesome. Obviously, Lena Headey uh, went on to play Sarah Connor and was also, of course, very active in uh, Game of Thrones. So, I mean, it's, it's, was it Game of Thrones? I don't know. I, I have yet to get my Game of Thrones on. I have almost all the seasons purchased. I just haven't started watching them. But that's a whole nother story, a whole nother thing. One of the funny things, and I alluded it to it in the intro for this video, was the hunchback, Ephialtes. Historically an accurate character. I don't believe he was actually supposed to be a hunchback. He was just a um, a discarded Spartan, I believe, or he just wasn't up to the task to be a Spartan warrior. And the thing I love, and the reason I even quoted that line, was he goes to Xerxes. Xerxes kind of has him in the middle of his kind of sex den tent or whatever. And it's like, you're, Xerxes is offering you wealth and women and it's like, dude, the easy life, just, you know, double cross your guys and he's ready to double cross them. And it's like, whatever. But then he asked for a uniform. It's like, OK, so technically you're asking to go out on the battlefield, which you might be killed. The whole wealth and women thing, I don't even have to follow through on because knowing you, you probably get out there and get killed. So it's, I always thought it was funny that he asked for a uniform. It's like, I understand he wanted to belong to something. But it's like, dude, you got the wealth and women part. Kind of don't really worry about the warfare. You just don't, don't even get a uniform. You'll be all right. Just just go live a lap, you know, the lap of luxury. But uh, all in all, 300. Reason I'm bringing it up is because it was finally brought out on 4K. Now, 4K, as a, little, a lot of you know, is a blessing and a curse for certain films. This movie was shot on film. Uh, and some of the scenes, like especially the scenes when Delios uh, is kind of basically giving us the backstory, the narration, and leading up into the main uh, action in the film, those scenes have a lot of film grain on them. And it almost is too much, and I think it's because of that, that, chroma, that chroma filter that they use for the film, it almost looks like it's too grainy, but it works. And then when you get into the actual regular film itself, the visuals are just on point in 4K. They look amazing. As far as extras go, they are the same extras that they had on the Blu-ray all the way back in 2007. So nothing major, which is I think was just two deleted scenes. Some, you know, kind of a, a featurette about what's real and what's, you know, fictionalized is, you know, with regards to um, the battle, essentially. And, you know, a couple other featurettes about the, uh, you know, the, the principal actor's workout, some webisodes, and, you know, just some other just standard extra features that they, you know, put on Blu-ray. But all in all, 300, great movie. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. If you've got a 4K Blu-ray player, pick it up on 4K. It is definitely worth the purchase. But I'm going to leave you guys with these final words. For many of you out there, you hear the name Zack Snyder and you're immediately turned off. But some of you forget that Zack Snyder was at the top of his game at one point in his career. And the for a lot of you, 300 is the top of his career. 300, some of you like Watchmen as well. But 300 was when he was at the top of his game and it was just action and violence. And you know, this is Sparta, like all of the just great meme worthy stuff that came out of this film. And it's, it had to start somewhere. And Zack Snyder did an outstanding job with it. And some of you might not like him and that's fine. But hey, for me, it was Tuesday. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, this is GQ. I'm just giving a quick shout out to Demarcus Smith, Fab Nerd Life, and Nanette Net, our Culture Junkies level patrons. We appreciate all you guys' support. If you want to be shouted out by yours truly on some of these videos, make sure you stick around and find out exactly how you can get that done.
If you're enjoying our content, please consider going to our Patreon and becoming a supporter. There are different tiers to select from, and we thank you for your support. Go, go, go!